here at the World Economic Forum with Afif Tavsh, the founder and president of ISERV. Um, Afif, a lot of people have been talking here about how education needs to be addressed and critically the voice of the youth needs to be brought into policy making more in order to um, have a multi-stakeholder approach that um, will really create effective change. What are you doing to um, address those two agendas in Lebanon? What we're trying to do is to create a platform for youth to find local solutions for the local problems they're having. And the whole idea started when we were university students and we wanted to do something for our communities, but we didn't find support specifically because the youth in our society were bipolarized between uh, religious part, religion or different uh, political parties. And so we failed so many times and learned from our mistakes and came up with a successful uh, module of how to work with students, uh, specifically in schools and universities, since they lack this kind of skills and capacity building and networking, to allow them and to empower them to make change, to be the change in their societies uh, through lo finding local solutions for what they want or what they have. And what, what do those local solutions, what form do those solutions take? Do they become organizations? Do they become businesses? Okay, well, we mainly focus on three main themes, community development, community service, and community awareness. And so we form a structurally, it's a club, we call it an ISERF club in that school or university, where those students around in that club work on those three themes, development, service, and awareness to uh, come up with whatever initiatives they find necessary in their society. So it's, it's not a business startup as much as it is a, a service-oriented, development-oriented and awareness-oriented solutions. And do you see any other organizations doing this in a similar way in other countries in the Arab world? Do you think this is scalable? Currently, I haven't seen any uh, NGO or initiative or foundation that is doing something similar, as in creating clubs and schools and universities, empowering students to come up with their own solutions. And that's why we found this gap and this added value where no one else is doing this. Um, nevertheless, there's a lot of people who are working with, you, with youth, and so we're trying to leverage on that and build our capacity and our network of uh, contacts to support those clubs that we're starting and to make, empower them with a wider network of uh, supporters and funders and uh, you know, educators. Do you see a role for the public sector in this? Do you think government should partner? Uh, definitely, if if we are to partner and with with to, to scale this up, we will definitely need the public sector to take this initiative into all the public schools. And once that is happening, you're going to have a tremendous amount of energy of youth working in hundreds of schools and universities to find local solutions all together, talking about the same language, same kind of processes. Yet, everyone's having a different experience, different solution for a different problem they're facing. How does this affect uh, Lebanon's economy? Do you think? Uh, bit by bit, the skills they learn, the, the way of them working together and finding solutions and analyzing, being critical about everything they're, they're going through, will provide them with the needed skills and experiences and contacts that they will be using in their business work, whether in uh, they start their own NGO or, or companies or they work in a private sector or public sector. The skills they learn, the knowledge they have, will be definitely useful in, in you know, future life. And do you have any aspirations to go regional with this? Definitely, and we already started uh, having connections and discussing possible MOUs and partnerships with people in Saudi, in Jordan, India, France, and Spain. Fantastic. Uh, well, keep us posted on your developments. We'll definitely let you know. Thanks for chatting with Wanda. Thank you.